Hey, hello guys. Good morning. I hope you are all doing well. And uh, welcome to one more video in your channel, My Crypto Pal. This video is going to be very important, guys, because this video is probably uh, going to deal with uh, psychology of a trader and what happens in a market. Uh, what is the whole process that you must have seen that you are in the markets for so such a long time, and uh, some of you maybe are not consistable, consistently profitable over a period of time. Now there are various reasons to it, guys, but I thought uh, what is the best reason which can describe uh, this. Uh, uh, logic that why everyone in the trading or everyone in the market uh, cannot make profits. Now, as you can see, the background clearly suggests uh, what I am looking to explain today. Now, you know that Albert Einstein has always said that there are three great forces that rules the world. One is stupidity, one is fear and one is greed. So today we'll be looking at fear and greed, guys, because you need to understand that uh, why are people lose, uh, losing money in the crypto market. Okay, so let's uh, dive into the Bitcoin chart. And you can see that currently we are here. This is the three day chart of Bitcoin. Now, as you can see, guys, from this chart that Bitcoin has consistently given you profits. OK, now, if you are still not profitable and you are invested in crypto or any other market, there might be a reason for it. OK, try to look for the reason instead of trying to thinking that uh, what is wrong in your trading, what is wrong in technical analysis? Are you doing risk management properly or not? What is going on? Okay, so let's uh, uh, follow this video slowly and let's uh, decode it uh, step by step for you. Watch this video to the end, guys, because uh, this video is going to be very important and it is going to help you build your psychology uh, going forward. Okay, so there are two reasons that why uh, you are not making profits consistently in the markets. The first reason, like I always say, is the asset that you choose. Okay, so here I have taken Bitcoin for example because that's my domain of expertise. But uh, you can take any other assets for your uh, convenience, and you can mark the same thing on those assets and uh, see that is the asset uh, good or not? Has it given you profits or not? Now everyone is telling crypto is a scam. Today it is there, tomorrow it is not there. But you see that since 2011 to 2022, more than 10 years, an asset has uh, been in a market and has been consistently profitable. So there might be uh, some reason you should be looking at this asset. Now today's topic is not about why you should invest in crypto. I've made a other video. I will link it on top. Go and watch that video if you do not understand what is crypto and why you should be investing in crypto. But uh, this asset is about uh, how bit. Uh, this video is about how Bitcoin. Has has done over a period of time and as you can see that the first step which is the, is the asset that uh, the, that you have chosen is it correct or not you can see that bitcoin has been consistently profitable over time okay you can see here you got a 48000 percent return over here you got a 12000 percent return over here here you got a 1900 percent return and even if uh, some of you who had entered the market uh, last year or 2021 you can see there also it gave 140% return. Okay, so this is almost uh, uh, 2x your portfolio. And uh, if you are still losing money in crypto, then there might be a reason that why you are losing money. And you need to ask yourself, uh, for example, people who are in the market since 2018 or 19, you can see that after a 1900% return, that means after the COVID crash also, the Bitcoin market has not dropped. So, 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 I mean, uh, majorly, okay, because if this was, let's say you had invested somewhere over here, okay, but now, now the prices are still way above that, okay, if I put a scale over here and you can see that we are still almost 169, 61% away from your initial investment. So why are you near, why are you still in a loss? Okay, that is the question you need to ask yourself. Now, the first thing is the asset that you have chosen is correct or not. So here you can see that if you have chosen Bitcoin as your preferred asset, then there is nothing wrong with the asset. The asset has continuously given you a, a substantial amount of return. Now, the second point, which is the most important point, is conservation of the profits that you make. Okay, that means that the profits that you are making from the asset or the profits that a market is giving you or offering you, are you able to hold those profits over a long period of time? Because if you are not able to hold those profits over a long period of time, there is something wrong. Now, breaking it, guys, uh, uh, you can see that the second point is uh, a much uh, uh, detailed one. Now, today I will explain you that uh, if you are failing in the second point, there is a process which is uh, made by a lot of uh, big traders and a lot of uh, uh, successful traders around the world and they follow this process. I follow this process. I am not saying that I am a big trader or I am a very, very successful trader, but I believe that I have done okay in my trading journey. and. Uh, 
if if you learn this process then uh, probably you will also be uh, you know you're consistently profitable and that is why i thought of sharing this process now the details of this process is a very long topic and it cannot be covered in one video but let's start that what is the process at least you know what is the process and what is the journey and what are the difficulties associated with the process okay the first difficulty like i told you is the fear and greed and uh, going by the fear and greed guys uh, what we'll do is we'll try to uh, today we'll try to see see the impact of news and the impact of social media on your trading okay because most of you must have uh, subscribed to a lot of channels uh, that is uh, uh, giving you a lot of information when to invest when to buy when to sell so today let's break out that so with, we'll start with social media guys now uh, the the tags that i've put here the screenshot that i've put here i will not name them and because i don't want to target anyone singularly but uh, the herd mostly the herd is there okay because uh, you need to remember one important thing is that retailers move in a herd okay they do not move uh, singularly like uh, whales do or big traders do so that is why it is very easy to target the herd okay the whole whole game is here to figure out that how institutions are going to play with your mind that uh, when are when are the institutions buying when are they selling and when are, when is the uh, retailers buying and when are they selling okay so if we decode these principles then maybe we can achieve some conclusion today so let's start with twitter post guys like you can see that uh, these are the twitter posts over here uh, you can see everywhere uh, the screen pops up uh, full of screenshots you can see that these are all the bullish uh, screenshots uh, in crypto which will come you can go back to the dates that you can see on the screenshot and you can see that i have not framed anything just go back to these channels and see that uh, during this time meaning uh, during october to november of 2021 uh, they were starting to post uh, all kind of bullish uh, post which was possible okay i was bearish that time but i don't understand why the whole social media be it twitter be it youtube everyone was posting that bitcoin is going to 250k bitcoin is going to at least 200k ethereum is going to do 20k or 40k god knows what you know stock market is going to break all time previous records nifty is going to reach uh, 25000 bank nifty is going to go to 50000 45000 this year so you can see that there is a cycle which goes on okay now remember these dates guys october to november of 2021 because i have taken crypto as an asset you see that during these days the amount of bullish post was at the peak okay be it twitter be it youtube wherever you go you everywhere you would see a bullishness in the market or the market sentiment was bullish okay however when we go to the flip side of it which is around uh, june beginning of june to mid of june you can see all the posts that came during that time was mostly bearish then the talks of bitcoin coming to 10k the talks of bitcoin coming to 3k some said that bitcoin is a big scam and it might go to zero crypto as a whole is going to you know that uh, it uh, not exist anymore you can uh, if you remember a lot of exchanges um, started shutting down celsius started sh shutting down voyager started shutting down ball started pausing withdrawals uh Bazirex, there was a lot of problem with Bazirex and binance now you need to understand guys that uh, there was a severe problem of liquidity in the exchanges now i will explain you that why the problem of liquidity came and i will explain that later with an example but for now you can see that uh, every post that i've posted over here was between june 1st and june 15th and all of them you can see are extremely bearish uh, signaling a fear in your mind okay and and the, and the opposite part of it you can see when the post was bullish they were signaling a greed in your mind okay so uh, you can see from this picture quite clearly that whenever there is fear everyone is just shouting sell 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 that means whatever they see any dump in the market they start selling their assets and when there is greed they just go buy 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 okay that is the general logic of the people now if you still don't uh, believe me then go to google these are the google screenshots just go to google news type bitcoin select the date range like i have done here and you can see that during the period of october and november you can see every post about bitcoin was bullish over there okay you can see that in this news uh, like uh, uh, between the october news you can see that uh, the post over here was extremely bullish and you can see crypto going to the moon will bitcoin price reach uh, 100k bitcoin is 50000 cryptocurrency prices today and all good good news okay however if you shift to june over here then you can see the news that Bitcoin is falling below 25,000, Bitcoin in free fall, descend to 20,000, crypto lender Celsius pauses withdrawal due to extreme market conditions. And uh, you can see that market trap Bitcoin and stocks drop 
and this is see risk of further downside so it is not not only limited to bitcoin guys it is also uh, the same thing with stocks the same cycle goes with stocks as well and you can see that here also what they have done is they have said that there is further downside that means they are putting a uh, 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 how do I put it politely? They're putting fear in your mind, okay? And on the other side, during October, what they were doing is that they were putting greed in your mind, okay? So remember, guys, that uh, this uh, screenshots, remember this and remember these dates. Now, uh, after having said that, let's jump to the actual Bitcoin chart and let me show you over here that what actually happens in a market and how the cycle drives, okay? You can see that here we had the COVID crash over here. So when the market started dumping like this, all the retailers were selling over here. Now you need to always ask your, yourself one question when you are selling that if you are selling, then who is buying? Because you cannot sell if nobody is buying, right? And you cannot buy if nobody is selling. So if institutions want to buy from you and you are selling, what is the, the factor that is driving you to sell? The factor which is driving you to sell is fear, okay? The, whenever fear sets in and market starts dumping, everyone starts selling, selling and selling. And you can see that the government stepped in over that time. They did quantitative easing. Now, I will not go into details of quantitative easing and tightening. That requires a whole separate video or a live stream altogether. But uh, quantitative easing in simple terms means that a lot of money was printed and everyone was easily given money to spend, okay? So that is, the, that is the time when you see once the quantitative easing starts, negative news influx starts. That means all kind of negative news like I showed you that Bitcoin is going to go to zero, Bitcoin is going to dump even below than 1000. That is the news which will come in. The whole social media is going to turn bearish. That means Twitter post, YouTube post, no matter whatever post you see, they are going to turn bearish. Okay, there is a there is only one reason behind all these activities and behind all these process. Okay, now who is funding all this process? Whales or the big traders who are over there. They are funding these social media channels, be it YouTube, be it Twitter. They are giving them money to make such content so that this will force the retailer sellers or the retailers to sell. And when they sell, institutions will start buying from you, okay? Or the big traders will start buying from you. You can call it smart money, you can call it institution, you can call it whales, you can give it any time, any name you want, okay? But you need to always ask yourself one question that if I am selling, who is buying that time, okay? So you can see that as and when the institutions bought, you can see there was a huge rise in the market, okay? And when the markets was rising, all you were doing is just looking at profits going away from you. So what you do is you start buying over here and you start buying over here, okay? So whenever we reach the top after trapping so much of liquidity in the market, quantitative tightening will start. The whole social media will turn bearish and positive news influx starts. That means that at this place over here, this whole range over here that you see at this place over here, all the news that you will get, you can see quite clearly from the chart that this is October uh, 14th to October uh, to November 9th. And the bottom is uh, uh, not the COVID crash over here. I took uh, this year's bottom over here. You can see the bottom uh, was here at June this year, June 2022. And you can see the peak was between October and November. So during October, you can see all kind of positive news will come and the whole social media will turn bullish. They will tell you that Bitcoin will go 100K from here. Bitcoin will go 250K from here. So what you will do this time that you will buy. OK, so if you are buying, then who is selling? Institutions are going to sell it to you. OK, so on the way down, what is going to happen is yeah, on the way up, what is going to happen is they are going to sell. So if they bought here, the institutions, if they bought here, let's say at $5,000 and as in when Bitcoin was uh, going up like this, who is buying and who is selling, you need to ask. Okay. So here they bought and as it started going up, they started selling and you started buying. Okay. And then that at the top, what is happening is that after you have bought everything, what they do is they start, they start to dump the uh, markets or they start to drive the markets down. That time again, what is going to happen? You are going to sell and they are going to buy. So they are accumulating in a downtrend and you are selling in a downtrend. Okay. They are buying 
in a downtrend and you are selling in a downtrend okay so uh, the cycle i hope uh, is uh, quite clear to you that when we are going up they are selling and you are buying and when we are coming down you are selling and they are buying okay so they are uh, at the bottom what happens is the maximum amount of negative news comes that bitcoin is going to zero the whole social media will try to put this fear in your mind that no we are going to go to zero from here sell all your assets okay and that is the time you are going to sell and they are going to buy and then again they will start shifting the price from here and then again you will fall in the trap over and over again okay so this is the process guys i hope this is quite clear to you that uh, always when you are selling ask yourself that uh, if you are selling then who is buying okay now we have understand that what is the problem guys now you need to figure out that uh, uh, what is the solution to the problem the solution is huge guys so it cannot be given in just one video but i will explain you the steps that you need to follow uh, to break this problem the now i believe that there are three steps to this that uh, if you want to predict a bottom you have to be good in technical analysis okay so you don't need uh, to be uh, accurate you need to be more or less approximate in your uh, technical analysis okay so the first step is called as learning technical analysis okay so you have to be very good in technical analysis if you want to become a successful trader okay you cannot be a successful trader if if you are living on someone else's call or if you are dependent on someone to tell you what to do okay so the first step is technical analysis the second step is timing okay you need to find the right timing to get into the market okay this is not the right time to get into the market this was the right time to get into the market or this was the right time to get into the market means uh, bottoms are the right time to get into the market tops are not the right time okay and the third step over here is trigger okay you need to uh, find yourself a process that uh, Yeah, by looking at microeconomics, by looking at the whole overview of the money flow in the economics, that uh, is the is the whole world bearish, is the whole world bullish. What big investors are doing, what big banks are doing, and on the basis of their decisions, you need to take a call and press the trigger. Okay, trigger means you buy or you sell. So whenever you are at top, you need to sell. Whenever you are at bottom, you need to buy. But people here do opposite because of the only and only because of fear and greed. So you need to remove fear and greed from your mind and follow the three process that I told you is technical analysis, the timing, and trigger. Okay, technical analysis I will teach you guys no problem. And trigger and timing are very huge course and vast course, and uh, that will cover slowly, slowly as we uh, as you see more and more videos, you will uh, become more and more clear. Okay, guys. So I hope that this video has helped you, and uh, if it has helped you in some way, please uh, like our channel and subscribe to it, and uh, do drop a comment that did you know this before or are you learning this for the first time, and uh, are you going to follow the processes that I told you? And I hope that uh, we make such videos to help you over and over again. and uh, thank you for watching guys and uh, enjoy your weekend take care bye bye